Hello and welcome back to Richard's Allotment. <clears throat> it's been a bit of a while hasn't it um, since you last had a uh, video from me. Um, I have been watching all the rest of you, those of you that put them out, keeping up, keeping informed with what you're doing and how you're doing it etc. But um, I have been videoing, I just haven't been able to put them up onto YouTube so you could uh, share my uh, allotment with me. But uh, now I've managed to um, get hold of a laptop that will uh, allow me to do that so fingers crossed as I always say. Um, you'll start to see a few more updates from me and things like that. Obviously there's not a lot to do at the minute, um, we're pretty much putting everything to bed, but I do have a few brassicas in and um, what else have I got? Brassicas, <laughs> that's about it really. Oh and the strawberries have still got fruit on them, so that's an interesting one, maybe somebody could tell me why that's happened. There are, they, they fruited in the spring, and they're still fruiting now so i don't know but you'll see all that on the on the clips that i've put together for you so um i hope you enjoy look back at the nice sunny days and things like that and uh, enjoy seeing me working on my plot my mum's in there somewhere as well so yep yeah, sit back enjoy and i'll catch you at the end so one of the first jobs i got stuck into was clearing away the cabbages that i'd replanted if you remember following the ones my mum put in and they died these have grown ever so well and I was really pleased with them unfortunately some of them had grown too well and they'd gone over which meant that I ended up having to compost some of them but I was able to keep some and they tasted delicious and with what was left I put those in the composter and they will do a great job for next year So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take what I've got in the wheelbarrow, just take them down on the, down to the compost, take them down there, and I'm going to peel them all back and see if I can save any of them. And uh, if I can, I'll take them home and I'll give them all, or I'll give them away. It might just be the outside one, but we'll see, we'll see. I'll show you where, we're, uh, where we get to with that in a minute. Catch you in a bit. Oh, by the way, you like my new hat. Bought it while I was on holiday, and... Uh, it's to keep the sun off me when it's out. Catch you later. Looks quite nice underneath this one. Generally speaking, a bit of a wash. What's wrong with that? I'll take that on. Right, the rest of them in there literally are they're no good. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chop all them up, chuck all that in, and then trample all that down. Try and give it give it a chance to start rotting a bit. Well, we've still got the nice weather and stuff like that, so we'll see how it goes. I'll catch you in a bit. Mind the white one. Mind the white one. Okay. It's mine the white one. The white one. No, yes. Yes. Sorry, I thought you said mind the wire. <laughs> I think <coughs> we'll end up taking out that middle rhubarb yeah getting swamped that one's took well that one yeah not the middle one yeah that one there is the original the one in the middle and that end yeah and the two i've put in yeah from our martin of pauline's garden our martin pauline's okay and our pauline everyone in our family their name begins with r this is our mum this is our Richard. Our Richard. Our Richard. There's our Martin and our Pauline. Oh. Hate these weeds. So do I. But we'll get 
I know. <sighs> Another job we had to crack on with was clearing some of the beds of the weeds and getting rid of the stuff that had gone over. This particular bed is the one that had the peas in it and I'd already cleared out the peas that had got finished, well everything had finished by now and it was time to take out the post and wire that I put in. I put this in for the ones I grew at home and to be quite honest they weren't great. They weren't as good as the ones I sewed, sewed directly into the ground. The variety I sewed this year was Hearst Green Shaft and they did really really well. They're good growers, good croppers. But it was time to put away the wire and the post, clear the rest of this bed up and get it ready for the spring next year. I'll just have to go and rest again. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hit my bag. Okay. We're doing a grand job. Keep it going. Very much sure. Ah. Uh. So apparently, that is not Rubecchia. It is called. Da, 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 da. Coreopsis. Coreopsis. Answers on a postcard. Thank you. So we've just decided before we go, we would have a look at the sweet corn. And that's the first cob that we've taken off. Not bad at all. What do you reckon? Brilliant. Happy with that? Yeah. Done well, aren't we? Yes. I think it's right up to the top as well. Brilliant, look at that. Yeah, pretty good. Really Obvious. formed a good fruit, a good I mean, it yeah. probably could have done with slightly longer, but that'd be nice. I'd have that for tea. Lovely. <laughs> Beautiful. What are we up to today, then? <laughs> Repairing the damage. Yeah. What's happened? Damage repairs. Wind. Yeah, I know. Oh. Wind. They won't stake than they should have been. Not been bad, though, have they? No, but they'll be better. They will. They've been a picture this year, aren't they? Yeah, but not to my standard. No. Go on, girl. No. No? No, I can't. Oh dear. Can't do that. Oh well. I'll get that one to stay put. Yeah. No. I won't. No. Oh well, keep trying, eh? Yeah, two BF. Tried but failed once again. I've took the uh, cucumbers out, as you can see. And this is what we got. Look at that lot. Gorgeous, aren't they? Put that out of the way. Look at them. Not bad at all. Kids will eat them, they'll love them. A few little ones as well. Gave some to my next door neighbour, he absolutely loved them so he can have a few more as well, bless him. Okay, so the netting's off, let's see what we've got. Well I knew I had some cauliflowers that had gone over, they're not too bad, you could eat them if you wanted, although some as you can see have gone to seed, but never mind. The flower sprouts. Now then, look at these. Absolutely fantastic. They're looking gorgeous. And the cabbages, these are winter cabbages. Lots of white fly, yes, but hey, who doesn't get it? Look at them, it's starting to form nicely in there. Some more. I'm really pleased with those flower sprouts. Can't wait to try them. You can see how they were popping out the top. And some more and the leeks. It's gonna take the piping out as well. That was the last of the, not sure what that was. I think it was a cauliflower that just didn't quite hack it. And yeah, it did all right. Not the kind of thing I've grown much of. So I'm happy with that. I did notice a little bit of something it might just be muck because it's been under the netting. What's the black marks on the 
on the leaves. Anyone know? Is it some eggs of some sort? I don't know. What is it? Anything I need to be worried about? Let me know, comments below and all that. I'm going to take the yellow leaves off. They don't need to be on there, I'm going to get rid. Yeah, there's a, there's a classic example. I think it's just where the rains come down really hard and stuff like that. But they're forming, they're starting to form, look. You can see amongst the white flight. There they are. They're doing well. I'm pleased with them. So I think we'll have the cauliflowers out. Give that a bit of a hoeing over. And then uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so we're into October. It's about the 5th of October today, 5th. And I'm still getting strawberries. Why am I still getting strawberries? As I said before, all I did was cut off the runners. I might have given them a drink of tomato feed or something like that, just to help them along. But I don't, I just don't understand. Oh, I mean, sure, yeah, some of them are getting a bit of a munching, which I really don't mind, but I just don't get it. Oh. They are proper. Oh, there's an hole in that one. <laughs> but they're proper good ones. So, any ideas, anyone? October strawberries. Hmm. I still like that dark red one over there, look. That one. Beautiful. Right, catch you later, guys. Bye for now. So, that's it. That's where we are at the minute. It's, as I say, it's middle of November now. It's the 18th today. It's a bit overcast. It's cold. We've had a few frosts, um, which I'm hoping will have done the world a good for my Brussels and stuff. Um, but really now, we're just down to digging now, digging over the, the beds, um, trying to make sure that the soil has as much opportunity to get the frost into it and break it down. We're putting um, chicken pellets on there, chicken manure, that sort of thing just to give it some more um, nutrient and stuff like that. Um, I am growing the green manure. I've got some uh, mustard seed, I think it's mustard seed, in the middle bed, which is just behind that one there. So it's that one, hang on, that one over there. I can't do it, that one over there, the middle one anyway. The one that's been fallow, um, that's got mustard seed on it and there's a bit more down just down here as well. I want to see how that goes, but um, I'm hoping to um, I'll let you meet one of my colleagues down here, one of my fellow plot holders, um, in the coming weeks, and uh, he's been growing green manure, and this is well up, but it was really interesting. He was telling me about it the other day, and I thought, oh, share that with you guys, so that's what I plan to do, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy seeing what he's doing as much as what you do, what I'm doing. So for now, that's it. Um, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.